Oh, thanks, hello everybody. Uh, th thanks for having me. Thanks for. I thought that was fantastic. That. Uh, what, what, so what was? What's your name? Claire. Claire. I love that health and safety song you did. It was brilliant. Your settee's on fire. I don't. Uh, I'm not used to starting at this sort of time because normally they put me on about um, ten past eleven, just when they want to clear the pubs out. Work, works like a charm. Twenty past eleven is like a graveyard. Um, anyway, I managed to find my way here, all the way from the outskirts of Wolverhampton, without the aid of a sat nav. Oh, no sat nav. Without the use of one of those, what they call them, um, blueberry things, all that lot. And um, actually, I only discovered a few weeks ago that you know when they put LOL on the end of um, texts. Yeah, you see, I, I never thought that was what it meant. I always assumed it meant lots of love. Uh, and we, we, you get it from all these blokes sending me putting LOL. What the see, I don't do texts. People, I've got. Yeah, yeah, lots of love, yeah. Well, some strange people. And, and I've got this um, mobile phone which has had £10 worth of credit on since September. I only use it in dire emergencies. This has got nothing to do with an awful lot apart from the fact that this is a song about dinosaurs. <laughs> I wish I was a stegosaurus, quite content to be sedately browsing through the undergrowth and munching on a tree with no ambition but to trundle through my stegosaur routines and be a bigger stegosaurus just by eating up my greens. I wish I was a brontosaurus paddling in a pond. I'd wallow in the sunshine and I'd never look beyond the safe horizons of my swamp, forgetting all too easily that every time that Allosaurus passed, she'd take a bite of me. I wish I was Tyrannosaurus, gaily I'd maraud on grazing herds of Diplodoci or the lush primeval sword without a conscience to be tweaked by cries for herbivoral rights, content to gobble up the fauna through the warm Cretacean nights. I wish I was a pterodactyl fluttering on the breeze With my monopoly on airspace I could swoop above the trees and feel secure Sure in the knowledge that whatever it may be There'd never be another creature who could fly as well as me But is it me who's getting older or are things becoming colder? That's ridiculous of course because we know that there is never any change like that Cause this climatic range has always been as such and never shall be so why has a reptile cause for fright? Because a so-called meteorite has spread a cloud of dust around the atmosphere. And I fear, I must confess, that when I hear that poles precess, I say, so what? Makes no difference to me here. And have you noticed everywhere, these little animals with hair? Can't see the point of them. Wonder what they're for. Don't think too much, that's what I say, and what's an ice age anyway? Do as you please, cos we'll be here forevermore. For surely everybody's heard now that the quintessential word for the last thing in good design is dinosaur. So if I can't be a stegosaurus with a walnut brain, if I can't be a brontosaurus and become Fred Flintstone's crane, if I can't be Tyrannosaurus off a hunting for my tea, if I can't be a pterodactyl, what I'd really like to be is a sophisticated primate with a brain three pounds or more designed for smashing up a phone box and for spitting on the floor I join the intercity firm and own a squad of XR3s I take a daily dose of Bostic and a fix on CFCs I chuck me beer tins in the gutter better still on someone's lawn and treat objectors to foul language with a vacant niche and scorn it must be blissful to be ignorant I'd love to have that knack, insert my brain inside a walkman, say up yours, I'm all right, Jack. And be oblivious to that shadow creeping up behind my back. Hey, hey, hey. 